Tribble, a disciple of Christ, and we're here to interview Chase Malone, a.k.a. CZ. We're talking about his new mixtape, Sheep Amongst Wolves, Saul for short. But anyway, let's start it off with the first question. What ministry are you affiliated with? Well, I am affiliated with Hog Mob, Hooked on God, Ministry Over Business, simply because I am hooked on God, and to me it is ministry before everything. A lot of people ask me if I got out of Hog Mob, if I'm still with Hog Mob, if I've ever been with Hog Mob, and I am, but they don't see it because that's not what I just go around saying all the time. Because a personal conviction to me is I have to rep our Heavenly Father ten times harder than I rep the name of my ministry. Like I said, that's a, just a personal conviction to me. So you don't hear me go around just blasting it. And also, I'm still a part of Soul Seekers. Whether the Soul Seekers even know it or not, it's still a thing with me, Corey, Brandon, Sizzle, Des Pool, if you don't know him, Quiz, a couple people in Georgia. Because that's something that God put together, and we have no right to destroy that. So it's still an ongoing thing. So soul seekers, hog mob, but first and foremost, just the kingdom of God. Man, I just want to touch on one thing that you said. Uh, you got to rep harder for for God than you do your ministry. Yeah, that's uh, something that we uh, see a lot of, a lot of lack of actually. That we see people promoting their ministries yeah. over God, and that's all uh, the time. Something that we all need to make sure we check ourselves on and even away from music representing your church more than god yeah more than but anyway let's move on to the next question what is the motivation behind saul well i get the name from the bible verse out of the bible and excuse me for not knowing off the top of my head which one but talks about i send you out a sheep amongst wolves or whatever and we are sheep whether you follow God or you don't, you're a sheep. We're sheep. Sheep aren't very powerful, and we need to realize that. We can't defend the enemy. He says he sends us out amongst wolves, not just the wolf, wolves. What can wolves do to one sheep? Destroy it, basically. And I know because recently I have stumbled in my walk with Christ. I have felt alone. I have tried to rely on myself and not the shepherd to provide for what I need, and it was destroying me. The wolves were destroying me. So we need to realize that we are sheep, and we are amongst wolves, and the only way we're going to make it out righteously is if we rely on the shepherd for our strength. And also to go along with that is the Bible verse that talks about be watchful for the wolves dressed as sheep, the false prophets, the false teachers, because especially here in America today, and especially where I'm from, the Bible Belt area, it's a nothing but freaking religion. Religion, religion, religion. Go to church. Raise your hands outside of that. Do nothing for God and you're good to go. And pastors are just preaching false messages about receive your blessing now by saying this prayer. You want a Cadillac, pray for a Cadillac, man. But it's not time for that. It may have been back in the day time for that, but, man, we're getting close to the end. God says, why? Why? Why ask for these things when you should be worried about winning souls to the kingdom? You should be worried about drawing closer to me. You should be worried about seeking the kingdom first before any of those things. You don't hear repentance taught anymore. You don't hear we need the blood of Christ taught anymore. You don't hear how sinful we are taught anymore. And it makes us kind of downplay the importance of who Jesus is and we forget we need him on a daily basis. So... Throughout the mixtape, I kind of call out some false teachings. I kind of put myself on blast with what I've struggled with and how much that I need to rely on the shepherd. And not only the shepherd, but our other sheep, our other brothers in Christ, and the fellowship we have to go along with that. So, yeah. Man, you touched on a lot of good stuff there. Uh, <clears throat> but I guess I'll just... Uh, tell you one thing that I thought was cool that you said um, in the very beginning you said I don't know I don't know this this verse and uh, you don't know exactly where it is and back in the day 
the apostles, when they were saying these things, they didn't call it first acts, yeah. you know, and all this. Yeah. It was all just, hey, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. So that's cool because, you know, it. It's not about knowing exactly where it is, but it's it's about knowing what it means. It's exactly. about walking it out. Exactly. So that's cool that you know what it means, and it sounds like you're walking it out. So that's the most important thing. And anybody that is hearing these, hearing what uh, what we're saying right now, it's it's good that you that you know what the scripture means. You may not remember where it's located. But yeah. you need to make sure you have that word inside of it. What is written in your heart. Yep. And to be remembered. And the thing is, when if people who do can name any verse out the Bible off top of their head, that's in the book of Isaiah chapter 36, verse 3, whatever. Sometimes that intimidates an unbeliever. It does. It kind of like, man, I got to learn like that. Mm -hmm. No, I have trouble learning like that. I admit to you, man. I can't, Me too. can't remember verses off top. But it is in my heart. So. Yeah, and that's the that's the key. Anyway, let's uh, move right along. Um, what other artists can we expect to hear on your new mixtape? Hmm. Well, <sighs> of course, you're going to get my brother, Corey, Simo, Moses, whatever you want to call him. He'll be a part of it several different times. My boy, Desiree Poole. He'll be a part of it. If you don't know who that is, his name's Sizzle. He's been down since day one. Um, another brother in Christ who I just recently kind of met is named Corey Garrett from Nacogdoches. He's a part of Joe, a ministry called Joe, Jesus Over Everything. And we're just your average Joes. You know, I'm excited because he just recently got connected with Hog Mob, and I can see his heart for Christ. Let's see, who else? A guy that I work with named Anthony Henderson. Shout out Big Van. This boy got a voice of an angel. Hopefully I get to work with him. Praying for you dog. He just got in the car wreck and told him his truck. Let's see who else do I got on here. Hopefully I'm gonna get seven on the track. Reaching out to a couple other people man. You know I, I'm trying to be real careful with who who's a part of it. Because, like we talked about earlier, there's a lot of artists out there who rep their ministries harder than they rep God. And the times are so serious now. And God is so wanting us to go out into this field and do work for him. He wants people who will wholeheartedly seek him first. And I want to make sure on my mixtape that it's people who are about winning souls and about praising Christ over getting praise towards their ministry or towards their music or towards their name. So, yeah, that probably ain't the artist I will get. That's all I can think of off top. If I forgot some, forgive me. Well, it sounds like there's going to be a quite a few different uh, variety of people on this thing. Sounds like we're going to get a little bit of diff a little bit of everything. That sounds good to me. But uh, let's move on to the next question here. What can we expect to see from your from you other than music? Other than music, hopefully you see a lot more out of me other than music. Me and the guy behind the camera, Mr. Brandon Tribble, and my brother are all on the same page with it's time to actually go out and do work for the kingdom of God. It is time to get together and start holding Bible studies for whoever wants to come throughout the week at home, not in a church building, not intimidating people, but at home so people can actually grow towards, towards Christ. It's time to start reaching out to the homeless and the most and, and the less fortunate of our society. It's time to quit being worried about self. So you can expect out of me nothing. Don't expect nothing out of me. Expect it all from God, all from Christ, because that's who I'm leaning on. That's who I'm relying on. And, you know, this world is getting worse and worse and worse. America definitely is getting worse and worse and worse with religion, the Pharisees, everything we're doing against God. I'm not even going to get into details, but that's not going to change. We act like we should pray for this nation to change, and you should, but it's not going to change. It's meant to be that way, and until the end days, it's just going to get worse and worse. So we have to build ourselves up in Christ, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Fast. Pray. You know, even when you don't feel God, pray. Fast. 
communicate with other people that you know are solid in Christ. And no matter what, don't give up on him. Stay obedient to him. Because like he told me, and I'll end it with this, unless Brandon Triple has more questions to ask me. I was falling away from God because I was going through a tough situation in my life. And I wasn't relying on him. I was relying on myself. And then when I finally came back and wanted to rely on God, I started praying but couldn't feel nothing. Couldn't, this felt like my prayers were going up and coming back down to me. Going up, coming back down to me. Like he wasn't hearing me. I couldn't feel it. There was nothing out of it. And I was at work when I he kind of hit me with a question. He said, Chase, do you love your wife? Shout out to my wife, Bristol Malone. And I said, yes, I do. God, of course I love my wife. And he said, you're faithful to your wife, right? I said, well, yes, I am. I love her. I'm faithful to her. He said, even when you're working nights and she's working days and y'all go a week without seeing each other, without touching each other, without feeling each other, without hugging each other, without kissing each other, you still love her and you're still faithful to her, right? I said, yes, God, I am. He said, so how much more should you love me when you don't feel me, when you don't see me, when you can't hear me? If you love me like you say you do, remain faithful. So that's what I encourage you to do. If you can't feel him, you can't see him, you can't hear him, remain faithful because the fact remains he is God. We are his sheep and remain obedient to the shepherd. Man, I just started tearing up about that, <laughs> man. That was some good stuff. Uh, I'm sure... Uh, the viewers at home, y'all are going to feel the same thing. But basically what, what we're hearing from you, Chase, is that you're wanting to get back to the roots. You're wanting to get back to the way the apostles did things. Exactly. It started in the home. And like I heard a pastor say the other day, started in the home, it's going to end in the home. One day we won't be able to gather in churches. We won't. It'll be despised. And we'll have to do it in our homes. So why not start now? You'll get more out of it anyway. I encourage you, even if you do go to church on a daily routine, which I don't. I don't go on a weekly basis. I don't have a home church, and you can cast your stones if you want to. I don't care. It's just something that I don't do. And I'm not dogging you if you do either. Just make sure your motives are right. But why not? Just get together with a small group where you can ask questions, where you can learn, where you don't feel like the pastor is any better than you are, where you don't feel like feel like you're in a room with people who understand and who can relate and you're not ashamed to ask questions. That's the only way to grow. And don't be ashamed to ask questions neither. Just let the Spirit lead. And uh, I'm going to end it with this. Um, Y'all see Chase's heart and you kind of hear a little bit of mine. If you're looking for a place to where you can grow, Come get with us, because that's what yes. we're going to be doing. Pineland, Texas, Sabine County, anybody around, we are fixing to start holding Bible studies, either at Brandon's, my house, Corey's house, at the park, at the square. We're fixing to start getting out there so we can reach these people. And if you're already built up in Christ, then join along with us, and let's go harvest these souls to the kingdom. Let's reach out to those who are lost and show love and not hatred, show compassion and not intimidating them with the way that we walk in Christ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, thank you all for tuning in and uh, check back with uh, more to come. God bless y'all. Yeah, I'm ready for whatever, for whatever I'm ready. I'm guided by the word of God and it no matter what they tell me. I see they sharp teeth, though they covered in wool. I'm like a sheep of my own.